Hi, I'm Robin Camp with Screen Innovations Technical Sales Team. Uh, today I want to run you through using the Mo app to set up limits, control your screen, uh, make any adjustments you need to. Let's run through if you've received the screen and you just need to adjust your limits. First thing I'm going to do is verify that my dip switches are all in the ON position. As such, so they should all be up as you're looking at uh, from the top of the board. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Moab. It plugs directly into the screen itself. You see my lights have turned on. I'm going to run through and I'm going to set my upper limit. The screen is already up. I'm just going to bump it up or down to my desired upper limit. And I like it right about there. To set the upper limit, all I need to do is press and hold the red and green or up and stop buttons. Again, waiting for that LED to flash. My upper limits have been saved. I'm gonna go ahead and position the screen for its lower limit. I do this by holding the down or blue button. I'm happy with it right about there. You can make any fine tune adjustments you need to. To save this limit, again, you're just gonna hold the stop and down buttons together until those LEDs flash. I've now saved my limits, upper and lower. I can take, flip the number one switch from on to off, putting me in user mode. You'll see if I hit the up button, the screen will deploy or retract. Likewise, stop stops the screen, down will send the screen back down. Now that everything has been programmed, we have the ability to control this screen with IR. The IR sensor is on the bottom right corner of Moab, and you have the option of extending the placement of this IR sensor by detaching it. Reattaching it to this wire, which is included in Moab's packaging. And once complete, you've successfully extended the length of the IR sensor. Lastly, the 12 volt trigger can be plugged into this slot here and your contact closures can be plugged into the RJ45. As always, reach out to Screen Innovation Support if you have any questions.